What's up, YouTube family? It's your boy, Mike Macklin, a.k.a. Money Mike, the financial Thanos, because I'm snapping my fingers and I'm turning your financial problems to dust. Hey, I want to welcome you all to my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, first time checking me out, I want you to consider subscribing to my channel and also hitting that notification bell so you know exactly when I drop new videos. I'm dropping these videos almost every day so you don't want to miss this um a little bit about me if you just now tuning in um again my name is michael macklin i'm a personal financial coach specializing in a very simple five-step financial freedom strategy now if you want to learn more about that um, i'll talk about that a little bit later in this um broadcast but for now what we're going to do is like i do every single tuesday and thursday um, I jump on here and I basically I do kind of my own research. I'm sharing my own research with you all trying to get different financial information. So what I do is I go out, I find different videos on subjects that I'm thinking of or that I'm trying to learn about and I share them with you. So it's almost like you learning with me. So today's video that I'm taking a look at, I haven't watched it like all of my other videos. So I don't know if it's a great video, not great video, but we're going to try to make it great either way. But um, basically, this gentleman is discussing how to get a $50,000 line of credit um, through a, looks like, unified financial credit union. And the, the good thing about it is there's no credit check um, about this. And it looks like a credit builder kind of thing. Um, real quick, a line of credit basically is is absolutely fantastic. I love lines of credit. I have two actual lines of credit on the personal side. Um, but right now I'm trying to build business credit. So this is why it, it made me look at this video. But a line of credit is basically equivalent to like a credit card, but it can it can be used for a lot of other different things. And it's really good for individuals who's trying to maybe pay off debt more quickly or, you know, again, invest. It's, it's, it's got a lot of great uses. Um, I won't get too deep into it right now because, again, we're looking at this video to just check out, you know, the information and see if it can bring value to you as well as to me. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing, see what's going down and let's do it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Credit Plug channel, where we talk about how to build credit, how to establish relationships with banks and financial institutions, and most importantly, how to get you access to high-limit credit funding. If you're new to our channel, we welcome you to subscribe. Otherwise, you can like, share, and comment down below. It helps our content reach a wider audience, and we greatly appreciate the support. So for today's video, we're going to be recapping another credit union. Now, one thing that I want to do is just reiterate information in different reviews of financial institutions that we've done in the past. I realize we have a lot of new subscribers. And one other thing I wanted to emphasize is that information is always subject to change. So mm -hmm. if you're watching our video or any other video on YouTube, just look at the post date to see when that video was posted, especially when it comes to credit and financial related information. Things can change within a matter of days. A yeah. good example is yesterday we posted a video on Justice Federal Credit Union telling you about the $20 membership with the National Legal Aid and Defender Association. Later on in the day, they actually removed the $20 membership, and now it's a $60 membership. So just look at the post date and just take that into consideration. If you've seen a video from six, eight months, a year, two years ago, don't always take that at face value because, again, especially in this space, information changes very, very quickly. But anyways, in today's video, we're going to be recapping a credit union review we did about eight months ago. And so this is Unified Financial Credit Union. Now, Unified Financial Credit Union is based out of California. They have over $5 billion in assets under management. But one great thing about Unified Financial is that 
membership eligibility is wide open. There's two different nonprofits that you can join. There's the Surfender Foundation as well as Friends of Hobbs. These are two nonprofits that you can join during the membership application, and that gets you into Unify Financial. Now, before we get into the review, I just wanted to state that this is for informational purposes only. We're not endorsing, recommending, or advising you to apply. It's just for information purposes. So anyways, Unify okay. Financial is a hidden gem in my opinion. They have a lot of great credit cards and other types of financial products, including lines of credit, personal loans. They have a credit builder loan as well as a no credit check quick loan. So they have a host of different okay. financial products to meet your needs. Now, a couple things about Unify Financial, they do pull check systems. So real quick with check systems, so check systems is essentially a report on your banking relationships. Okay. Now, there's a couple things that can trip you up when it comes to check systems. Number one is if you're opening up too many demand deposit accounts, that is checking and savings accounts within a short window. Now, an example okay. of this would be if you opened up you know, 10 bank accounts within the last 30 days, that can disqualify you from opening up subsequent accounts. Now, the reason why this is so important when it comes to credit unions is because most credit unions are requiring you to open a savings account. Therefore, the majority of credit unions are going to use check systems to see what your banking relationships are like. So if they see that you've opened up too many bank accounts or demand deposit accounts in a short window, that's just a proxy for fraud. Even if you're going about it just by establishing relationships, Relationships, you have to understand how the financial institution is looking at it. Okay. And the second reason is if you have any negative balances with any financial institutions, that's going to come up on your check system. So okay. if you have any negative balances that you haven't settled, you have to take care of that before you try to establish new relationships. So Unify Financial does use check systems. That's one thing. And then they are soft pulling you for identity verification in okay. terms of the membership eligibility. So as long as you can pass check systems as well as verify your identity, then you can get membership. Now, they will be asking you several questions, right? So they'll pull your credit report, you know, ask you about about any associated addresses or any other information that might be contained in your credit report. Now, in terms of the credit score that they're pulling for credit applications, they're using your Experian credit to qualify okay. you with the exception of mortgage loans, every other type of loan, they're going to be pulling your Experian credit. Now, one downside I would say to Unify Financial is that they are hard pulling you for each application. Mm. So this isn't one of the credit unions where you can double and triple dip using the same inquiry. Nonetheless, they have a lot of great credit products. Anyways, let's go jump over to their website and I'll walk you through their okay, different products cool. and You're services. All right, so here we are on unifyfcu.org. Now, let me just walk you through the membership eligibility. You're going to need your social security number, a current government issued photo ID, state ID, or driver's license. And you're going to need a funding source, either a debit card or a credit card in order to fund your account. And you must be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident in order to apply. Now, let's just walk through really quickly the ways that you can join. Now, as I said, Unified Financial allows you to join through two of their different nonprofits. Now, number one is the Surf Rider Foundation. And number two is Friends of Hobbs. So you could choose either of these. It doesn't really matter. So you will just select here or here, depending on which one you want to join. And either of these are going to get you into Unify Financial. So after you selected the organization that you want to use for your membership eligibility, then all you have to do is add a e-savings. So the e-savings share account is required in order to open a membership with Unify Financial. Okay. All right, so on the next page, you're going to enter in your personal information, first name, last name, your address, as well as your date of birth, your ID number, so your driver's license or state ID. And if your ID is expired, then you won't be able to apply. You will need a valid, unexpired identification card, as well as your email address, Social Security. Now, for Social Security, they are soft pulling you to identify who you are, so you will have to correctly 
answer some identification uh, questions. And this is going to be related to things on your credit report. So as long as you're able to confirm your identity that way, you'll be fine. Uh, they also ask about your employment information. Now, one of the great things that I like about Unify Financial Credit Union is that they have high limit credit cards. So here are a list of the credit cards that they have. Not pictured here is their secure credit card, but they have a Visa Engage Rewards that goes up to $50,000. Their Visa Platinum goes up to $50,000. Their Visa Gold goes up to $14,999. And then their Visa Classic goes up to $4,999. There's no annual fee on any of their cards. One thing to keep in mind is the interest rate. So for the Engage Rewards, it's a variable interest rate. Uh, for the Platinum, they have the option of a fixed or variable as well as a fixed or variable for the Visa Gold as well as the Visa Classic. And here they just have all of the different uh, benefits of these particular credit cards, you know, travel and emergency assistance. They have debt protection, auto rental, collision, damage, waiver protection. So all of their credit cards have that. That's definitely That's a cool. huge perk, especially if you're renting any vehicles, it'll definitely save you some money. So in terms of their personal loans, they offer a regular installment loan that goes up to $50,000. They have a debt consolidation loan as well as a signature line of credit. Now, the signature line of credit starts at a minimum of fifteen hundred and goes up to fifty thousand. I believe the same is the case with their personal loans from a minimum of five hundred all the way up to fifty thousand, with terms as long as uh, twelve to eighty four months. And then they also have a debt consolidation loan. So if you have any high interest credit card debt, you can consolidate it with the debt consolidation loan. APRs as low as 8.74%, minimum loan 500 up to 50,000 in 12 to 84 months. So the difference between the debt consolidation loan and the personal loan is that with a debt consolidation loan, you're not actually receiving the proceeds. Basically, they'll write a check to mm -hmm. whoever your other uh, creditor is to pay off that particular loan. And then with the personal loan, you're actually getting the proceeds. So if you actually want uh, a loan to actually use, then the personal loan is going to be the choice for you. The signature line of credit is a revolving line of credit. Now, the difference between a line of credit versus like an installment loan is that uh, line of credit, you're not paying any interest unless you actually start using it. With a term loan or installment loan, you're going to be charged interest as soon as that loan originates. So that's one of the difference. I think lines of credit offer a little bit more flexibility if you don't know exactly what you're going to use it for, just to have it in case you actually need to you know, access or tap into it. And then the line of credit, you can draw down the entire amount, which is another great thing. Lines of credit offer a little bit more flexibility than a credit card, because with a credit card, if you're trying to pull cash off of it, you're going to pay a very high cash mm -hmm. advance interest rate. And even with the cash advance from a credit card, you usually can't withdraw the entire limit of right. that particular credit card. Sometimes you may only be able to pull off 30 to 40 percent of the available limit. So that's one of the benefits of a line of credit. So Unified Financial Credit Union also offers short term loans. Now, they have two different loans. They have a quick loan as well as a credit builder. Now, here are the differences. Right. So the quick loan is for short term uh, emergencies or unexpected expenses or bills. So you're actually receiving the proceeds from the quick loan. And with the quick loan, there's no credit check. And the quick loan only requires income verification. There's a $20 non-refundable application fee, and you can only borrow up to $500. The one thing about the quick loan is that it doesn't report, so it's not going to help you in terms of building credit. It's really just to bridge you know, any type of short-term financing, and they're not hard pulling you for the quick loan. Now, the difference with the credit builder loan is that you're not actually getting the proceeds of the particular loan. They're reporting from a minimum of $200 up to $1,000, so it's really geared to help you build credit uh, there's a $20 non-refundable application fee, and they are requiring income verification. So just so you understand, with the quick loan, it's not reporting. With the credit builder loan, it is reporting. With the credit okay. builder loan, you're not actually getting 
the proceeds of it. So you're not actually receiving any funds from that. It's just really designed to help you build credit. But these are two great products in case you need to build credit or if you just need, you know, quick access to a couple hundred dollars. All right. So let's recap real quick. So Unify Financial Credit Union membership eligibility is wide open. There's two mm -hmm. different nonprofits that you can join to become a member. Okay. They do use check systems. So if you have any issues with other financial institutions, negative account balances, or if you've been applying for too many credit unions or bank accounts recently, then that may be a roadblock for you. They are using Experian to qualify you for credit decisions. Okay. Now, they don't allow you to double dip in the same way that other credit unions allow you to do. If you are applying for subsequent applications, then they will hard pull you each additional time. And that mm. includes credit limit increases as well. Okay. They have credit cards that go as high as $50,000 as well as personal line of credit, personal loans. They have debt consolidation loans. So if you have a lot of high interest credit card debt, you can consolidate your loans. And then if you need a credit builder loan, they also have a credit builder loan that goes up to $1,000. And they have quick loans that you can get with absolutely no credit check. Now, and again, all of this information is for informational purposes only. We're not recommending, advising, or endorsing you to join Unified Financial Credit Union. If anyone has any other data points on Unified Financial, definitely let us know in the comment section down below. That's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Until next time, take it easy and we'll talk to you soon. All right, all right, all right. Cool video. Um, it's good information, but unfortunately, it didn't help me in my particular um, situation. Um, I'm, I'm looking for more of the business credit. So this particular video is not going to help. It didn't help me in what I was looking for. However, it was a good video nonetheless. This is a really good option, especially um, you can get yourself some high credit limit cards. Um, like he kind of mentioned on the credit cards, though, unfortunately, a lot of times you can't pull a lot of cash off of it. Now, there are other ways to get more cash from the credit cards that may not count as a cash advance which i won't cover in this video there are videos talking about how to um, pull from your credit cards without you know getting a cash advance so if you'd like to research that by all means you know um youtube is obviously a great source for that um the line of credit i think that was really cool i mean especially the fact that you can get up to fifty thousand dollars that can be really really helpful um, now there's there's applications to um, using a line of credit maybe towards a business, but again for what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to separate my business and my personal. So this particular video, this particular bank probably wouldn't work for me, but I do think that it's a a good program. It has it offers a, access to a, quite a bit of money through both loans, lines of credit, and it's a good way to build yourself some credit. If you find yourself in a difficult credit crunch, maybe your credit score isn't where it needs to be. So I'm not going to get too deep into this one because, again, it didn't really help me. But it was some great information on getting lines of credit. Um, and again, I would highly recommend if you don't have a line of credit, definitely get yourself a line of credit. Um, this is a good amount. If your credit is good, I would really, really look into this one because there's not a whole lot of banks that's offering you know this much money and especially doing like a soft pool that's that's something else that I thought was pretty cool about that but again be careful not to do too many um, applications on here because again they're gonna keep pulling and that's gonna bring your credit score down so hey thanks for tuning in I definitely appreciate it hope you got value from the video if you did please do me a huge favor consider liking this video also sharing it like he said you know this allows YouTube to show it to more people and I want more people to see this kind of information see my content and just follow me along on this journey I definitely appreciate it and as I promised at the beginning of the video um, I am a personal financial coach if you're looking for personal financial coaching I want you to go to my website It's going to pop up on the screen here shortly that's www.moneymike313.com I'm actually allowing people to do a free 30-minute consultation with me. You can go on my site, book an appointment, and we can definitely talk about how to get you on the right side of the money. 
I definitely appreciate everybody for tuning in, supporting the channel, hitting that like button. And until the next time, I love you. God loves you. He smiles when he sees you and he sees you all the time. So he's always smiling. So why aren't we? Hey, you all take care of yourselves. Till the next time, take care. Gone. Damn, I ain't been broken a minute. Damn, I ain't been broken a minute.